All right, guys, here we go with the watch this video for Wednesday, September 11th. Um, I meant to start with the SPY here. SPY is still a fairly narrow range and fairly low volume, but seeing some pretty good action today. Um, I'm starting to see things improve, so that's exciting to me. Uh, a couple charts, highlights from today real quick. Uh, Pinterest, PINS, was on uh, bounce watch, and it gapped down. I called it long over the five-minute candle. You can see I, got, I did a limit of 2790, got filled at 2783, and had a nice little trade in that one. And something that made an even way bigger move was Pier 1 that I called in chat over this little flag right here at uh, 696, seller on the tape right there, looking for a breakthrough 7, which is also a break of yesterday's high. And then it was a recent high flyer. So it was like three or four reasons why I liked this right there at uh, 696 or even through 7. You can see I, I pressed the buy button twice and got filled both times at 696 right before this big move. It ended up going to like 10.50 or something by the end of the day. Huge mover there. And those those two trades, really nice for me. Um, what are we watching tomorrow? ARDX. You know what? I don't know why that's on my list. I'm gonna take that off. That's extended. That's too far ahead of itself now. Um, I don't know what I was thinking there. Fran. Fran was one of those things where, let me take this last five minute candle out of it and show you. On an intraday basis, it was the you know, the low float gapper of the day had a huge move in pre-market. But since then, I look at this until the last five minutes and I say to myself, who won? Shorts won the opening battle, but then, you know, they probably cover and then longs try to get... It, it just, it was a chop fest the entire day until the last five minutes. Now, if you're ever around on a low float gapper and you see this, and in that last five minutes, and I'm not trying to intimate that I got it because I had already left my office by this time. But if you see this, this is a great scenario where there's probably, if you can grab it before it breaks the high of day, which it, it didn't in the last five minutes, but you're probably going to get some short covering in after hours. And as I'm talking right now, it's trading at 12.04. Um, I think it went up uh, to 12.50 at one point. So it, had I been around, I think I would have tr traded that and held into after hours looking for that squeeze. Of course, anything could happen. It could have had an offering or something, but that is like a late day short covering and then more shorts covering in after hours. Having said that, I want to watch that one tomorrow because now at the end of the day, you've got a massive gap up, massive volume, and a pretty strong close, so it might have a follow-through day tomorrow. All right, um, MNK, huge move today, closing all the way near its highs. We're going to watch that one tomorrow. Pier 1, um, I already showed you the call on that one. Very strong move. It actually went, yeah, to 1048 is as high as it went. Um, but these beaten up retailers, they, you know, they're strong. This one might get another uh, another day uh, like a follow through day either tomorrow or later this week. So I definitely want to watch that one. CRWD. Um, this was on bounce watch today. I did not catch a trade in it, but a very strong bounce. This bounce might continue tomorrow. So I want to watch that one. MAXR, really nice breakout today out of a, I don't know, month long range, decent volume. We'll be looking for a follow through day there. Um, Roku, one of the hottest stocks in the whole wide world. And now two nasty days. Um, really want to watch this one for a potential bounce play tomorrow. Uh, OLED. Remember when you watch my videos, I'm looking for intraday trades. None of these are meant to be swing trades, right? So I build a watch list of uh, daily charts that might give me a decent move tomorrow on, on an intraday basis. So keep that in mind when you watch these videos. OLED um, from 230 down to uh, like 190 in two sessions, um, or little, little more than two sessions. Another potential for a snapback bounce. CHWY, um, this one's falling pretty quickly. It hasn't been trading for that long. Um, you know, I like it down in this area. I'd like to see an early morning sell-off and look for a bounce. Maybe, maybe it takes out all-time lows and then you get a nice snapback bounce, but certainly gonna watch it tomorrow for an intraday setup for a bounce. PAYC, just another beaten up one. I'm gonna watch for a bounce. Um, you know, something like Pinterest gave today. Uh, BLL, same thing. Really beaten up was 82 bucks down to 72 ish. And lastly, Pinterest looking for this bounce from today to continue. All right, I'm going to leave it short and sweet, and we'll see you in the chat tomorrow.